Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the, you know, the hours you're watching this video. Okay, so my name is James O. James. I work with Grootstack. Grootstack is a software development company specializing on the enterprise application development. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create sales order, sales quotation, sales invoice using Udo 13. Now, before you get started, uh, you need to get yourself ready. Uh, you, just don't, you don't want to just be doing you know, things that are not complete. So before you create a sales order, you will need the customer's name, customer's address, customer's phone number, and email. And now, also, uh, I would like to clarify other points as well. Before you create a sales quote or sales order, you are going to also need to register the services you want to provide to the customer or the product you want to sell to the customer right in the Udo platform. So the first thing you need to do is to add the product or add the services that you want to sell to the customer on the Udo platform. And now, so once uh, you can see the product, you can create the product. I'm not, this video is not uh, about creating product. Now, so once you have your product ready on the Udo platform, you head over to your sales uh, department and then also on this video uh, I'm going to move between sales and accounting now um, there's what is called sales order or and there's also what is called sales invoice now depending on the business process your company is uh, you know using uh, for us at uh, Good Start, our business process uh, that has to do with uh, sales, sales section of our business process, uh, we have to, we have a business what we call sales order, where we send quotation to customers, and then during this stage of the you know sales process, the customer will be going back and forth negotiating the price with us, we will negotiate the price with them. And then, uh, so the back and forth movement, we are involving the adjustment of the prices. You know, okay, the services is five million uh, naira. Uh, okay, we want to pay four point two, so we have to get back to the sales order, adjust the price again, forward it back to them, and so on and so forth. So that can be done on the sales order, but in the invoice, um, there is no back and forth movement. So we assume that. The sales order has been accepted, the price has been accepted by the customer. And then so we push it further to accounting to uh, create an invoice. So basically what we do is, except we receive payment from the client, we cannot create an invoice. So that's just our sales process. So yours might just be different. Now, so let's get straight to it. Uh, to create a sales quotation, it's easy. So once you log into your Udo, uh, go to the sales section, and then create your quote. Now, so when you create, when you click on create your quote, you're going to have to provide the customer details. Now, if the customer already exists in the Udo, uh, you can select the customer. If it doesn't exist, you can create a customer fresh. So, um, I'm going to have to work with uh, Mrs. Boy. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's the wife, the wife of the uh, president. She's not actually the client. This is a demo presentation, you know. And I'm just using for training now, but we hope that sometimes she's going to be our client now. So, um, we also have selected the customer, and then you can be able to create your quotation templates, but we're not going to do much on that. And then, um, you can do some other settings like payment terms. I expect this customer to pay in uh, let's say everything make payment in 15 days. We need money right now. Okay, so um, so what next? The next thing we're going to have to do is to add the product. So, uh, so in order to uh, product, everything is product. Services is a product. The actual product is a product. You know, expenses head, yeah, expenses head is a product. And then so everything we do, you know, classify it as a product. So when you are expressing the product, you specify if it's a service or if it's a storage product. Now, so what am I providing for her? Um, we'll be giving her some kind of uh, product. So I'll be selling this product to her, and she wants us to send a quote quickly as possible. 
Um, so for this particular beauty cream, she wants 15. Yeah, you know, she's rich, she can afford 15. Now, um, the next thing we will add a couple of other products. Um, now, um, so we can add um, whatever, 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 whatever. So I'll choose uh, this, and then I'll also give a fourteen of that. With this price, she can afford it. It's not a problem. Now, so um, okay, I have to add another product as quickly as possible you know so she won this 10 of it and that's the price uh, so this price is gotten from when you are creating the product you can add the price to the product uh, this video doesn't cover that aspect now okay so um, done that um, so let's look at some other uh, so we have four items that we're going to have to sell to her at this point now but that's fine so if you look at it you see that you have the items here and then we have the total of what she's ordering in most cases we have the coupon you can have the promotion if that is being set up on your system now so some other things i would like to show you because first of all um let me save this quotation and then i want to show you something how can you categorize your sales code to a section now so let's see how this sales code look like so that we, we appreciate the next line of action we're going to take now so that is downloaded yeah, on the pdf so if you like uh, pdf files you want to print it out to give it to your customer or you want to actually see how the you know the quotation looks like when the customer receives it so you can open it right there now so what i'm trying to do right now is to segment the uh, sales order in sections now so i want a situation where she wants us to classify the sales so the first two will have a subtotal and then the second as it take number three and four will have its own subtotal so let's see uh still loading okay so now so i can edit this i remember this sales order is still within my account it has not been uh, confirmed confirmation is key is a key action in udu now so what i want to do is to add some section when i've added product i can add section to it now so how does the section work okay so i'll write it something like this um i can use a cap for that purpose beauty products from nigeria okay so that's uh, a section and then i will now say that this i'll push this particular section to the top so that will cover first the first product and the second product so let's go back to our uh, okay so you can see uh, how the quotes look like what I'm trying to show you now is you have a quotation number you have the salesperson and then you have the products and then you have the total and you have the payment terms now so she wants us to break this down and give her more details on how you know this product are. so that's why I had to come and create sections now so I'll add another section at uh, um, beauty products from USA okay that's fine um, so we have that uh, section so the second third and the fourth area we don't have to make it we break it down okay so I can save this and then I'm going to show you the difference between sectioning and not being sectioned so I'll download the quote again on the pdf so i can compare it to uh for you to take a look at so so you can see this is the first quote everything is you know together and then we have a second one the similar quote but now i have to segment the quote the sales quote so you can have this 
BT product from Nigeria, this is the price, and then BT product from USA, this is the price, and then this gives us the total price. Now, also, you can add multiple things to this. If these products are tax, so you can as well choose to add tax to it, sales tax, that will give it uh, whatever percentage is in your country for Nigeria, 7.5% tax, so you can see 7.5% tax. Other products are not being taxed, so I can leave it open. All right, so I'll save it. So that's how to create the sales quote. So what next? Now, as you can see, this sales quote is just a quotation. It's only the sales order. It is when it's confirmed that it turns to a sales order. Now, so the customers have, have agreed to pay the price, and then so that's fine. Or I can send this uh, information to uh, the customer by email. Or the customer can say, okay, send me an invoice. So I decided to send a performance invoice because I don't want to send a payment. I don't want to send a real invoice because she has not yet paid. Now, but if she has agreed the price and say, okay, fine. And then, so for us in group stack and some other similar company that has similar, you know, business process like ours, uh, we don't confirm sales order except we have received payments. Yes, because in our system, once you confirm the sales order, you don't have the ability to delete the sales order. That's for us. Some other company, we can give them the privilege to delete if they want to delete. All right, so uh, everything is fine. I can now click on confirm uh, the sales order for this customer. That's fine. So now you can see that the sales order has created a button for um, the accounting department to create an invoice. And now, also, um, some of the products here are not services, they are products. So there will be delivery, you know, message will be sent to the warehouse, the inventory guys to deliver to the customer. But we are not going to go to the warehouse today. We are going to be working. We are working with sales and accounting. Right, so um, so I will go ahead and create the invoice. The customer has made uh, payment. This is a regular invoice. It's not a down payment. And then so um, I'll create the invoice, and I would like to see how the invoice looks like. So I create a new invoice. It's different from create invoice because create invoice, which was you know create invoice, we don't give a preview. Okay, so this is the invoice. Um, that's fine. But I'm working on the sales. Uh, department I don't have the right to I don't have the privilege to assess the invoice it's only people in accounting so the accountants will have to log into their database and then once they log into their uh, database they'll be able to go to customer section in accounting app and then you know open up the invoice remember the payment has been received uh, that's why we're able to create confirm the sales order and then able to create invoice now, so this is the invoice uh, for this customer and um, we've received payment, we've checked out our account and we've seen that the customer has paid. Now, so the accountant will go ahead and post the invoice into accounting journal. So you can see there's a journal for the customer invoice. The system creates that automatic. Now, okay, so after you've posted uh, to the uh, accounting book, the system will give you the button to receive the money into your UG database. Now, so we believe the money is in the bank, but it's not in UG database. Now, so we can create different accounts. Um, so this is the money to be paid. Uh, this is the so if the customer gives us check, we can you know add the check you know, reference here. But this money is just paid through transfer. So if I'm sure, fine, I will validate. Validate means post it into accounting book that payment you know um, then um, you're sure of it so uh, if you look at it that's fine so this invoice has been paid for and then if you go back to your sales uh, app in your database you be able to open the sales order number and then what you would find now is that okay these are products the, all of these are products and services this customer has paid for 15 quantity but it hasn't been delivered and then the invoice has been created for the 15 quantity that she you know paid for as she ordered for mm -hmm. now 
so you look at it now so also you like to look at the trail here and you see how this invoice has been touched whoever touches sorry the sales quotation whoever touches the sales order sales quotation now it will be tracked here so you can add multiple you know staff to be able to assess this particular sales order you can add more of your staff team members or other people to follow up you can also uh, lock a note uh, something like uh, this customer is uh, best customer please make sure is one of our best customer so please make sure products are delivered on time and so all the uh, all the everybody that is part of this will be able to see but that's fine so I've been able to show you how you can create sales quotation uh, that was converted to sales order and as you can see this quotation was the same it was confirmed it becomes a sales order and now it's locked it can no longer be deleted because there's an invoice attached to it and then there's also a delivery attached to it so therefore this particular document cannot be deleted by any means now of course it can be deleted but you know the users that don't have the privilege to delete cannot delete now so okay, that's how the, that's what i'm intending to show you today on this particular video and so i want to say if you need any help uh, while you're using your udo app you're free to contact us for free support by phone um can use ticket except your customer so you can call us by phone and we can assist you on uh, any issues you have with your Udo. Now, also, I'd like to let you know that Good Start is offering 10% if you fee when you refer any customer to us. So when the customer makes payment, you get 10% if you fee spread up. Uh, so, thank you so much for uh, watching, and then I'll see you on the next video.